Hey YouTube, what's up? Big Tex Rebel here. Uh, this is going to be a quick review slash quick look, whatever the fuck you want to call it, on the uh, UTG SWAT Force LED Tactical Flashlight. All right. Um, a lot of people saw this flashlight in a few of my other videos, and they asked me what kind it was. So I wanted to take some time to uh, you know give you guys the rundown on this flashlight for anybody who wants to know. So let's get started. Like I said, here's the flashlight. It is a UTG SWAT Force flashlight. It does have the crenulated bezeling on the front, um, push button in the rear, and um, it's made of hard aluminum or metal. You know, whatever we want, whatever we want to call that. Um, it is 200 lumens. Okay, so it's really, really bright. Um, especially in my opinion. I know there's flashlights out there brighter than 200 lumens, but 200 is, is really good for me. You know what I'm saying? When you wake up in the night and uh, you turn this flashlight on, it actually hurts your eyes too, so it's not so good. You know what I'm saying? I think that's why people get the red or green color lights, you know, for when you first wake up, you know, in the dead of night, when you hear a noise and you grab a flashlight, you turn that bad boy on and it's going to blind you just the same as it's going to blind the criminal. So kind of you know neither here nor there but uh, it does go really far for 200 lumens I mean it'll shine way beyond what I need it to to you know secure my property so I use it as a home defense light you know obviously it's too big to conceal carry or you know to carry period it's just too big in my opinion um, I you know you guys know what I use for the for my EDC flashlight I use the uh, Streamlight Stylus Pro and that's only 24 lumens so if you can compare 24 to 200 you can imagine the difference between the two lights as far as brightness goes um, you see in front of you this is the box that you get um, inside the box it also here let's go ahead and open this box up real quick and I'll just show you guys what you get take that right out that piece it does come with um, batteries as well and you get this piece the pressure switch I don't know if you guys can see that or not here it is you guys saw this mounted on my 1022 I had the pressure switch on along with uh, this part right here so you can mount it on a rail you know what I'm saying it is o-ring sealed so it should be you know fairly waterproof I guess um, I haven't stuck it under water so I can't tell you for sure if it's waterproof I, I, I don't go swimming with my flashlight so I don't need to really worry about that I know for a fact you could take it in the rain you know pouring rain and you'll be just fine it ain't gonna hurt it or anything um, that's all that comes in the box with it um, but I think that was really cool because you can switch this piece with this piece right here it comes apart and um, you know then you can mount the flashlight on your weapon if you want to so it's really cool um, what else let's see little specs or some specs on this um, it is 1.07 inches in diameter and it is 7.13 inches overall in length it weighs 9.8 ounces with the batteries and the batteries that it takes is uh, three CR123 batteries. It takes three of them. So that's kind of a pain in the ass because those aren't, you know, as easy to find as double A's and triple A's and all that shit. But they do work better. It's bright. You know what I'm saying? So that's the reason behind that. It does have a 37 millimeter Cree X lamp LED bulb. And it's got uh, nine volts, is what it pushes. Um, like I said 200 max lumens you can twist the back of it here to make it stay on if you twist it you know it'll stay on but otherwise you just push the button in the rear Let's see if I can give you a little deal there you go push the button in the rear see that so now you can you can strobe somebody if you want you can have it on or you just twist this end here and it'll stay on constant so those are the modes it has. There's not actually a strobe mode or 
anything like that. This flashlight came from uh, Cheaper Than Dirt. That's where I bought it. The price right now, they've actually came down on it $10 since I purchased this light, so it's actually not a bad deal right now. It's $49.97. And if you consider what you get with it, that is a hell of a deal. Um, like I said, it can be a weapon mounted light or just a flashlight that you keep on your nightstand, which is generally what I use it for. Um, like I said, I just mounted it on the Ruger just to see what it looked like. Um, and I thought it looked pretty cool, to be honest with you. There's the back of the box for anybody who cares, you know what I'm saying? There's how the batteries, you know, they just line up straight in a row. That's what they look like. It takes three of them, you know what I'm saying? So that's everything you get. You get the pressure switch, the three batteries, the flashlight, and the interchangeable mounting deck. All right. So I hope this guys or I hope this helps you guys out if you're looking to purchase a new flashlight, you know, and you want something that's pretty, you know, pretty good quality. I would have to recommend this 100% um, when it comes to price and quality. So I know this guy is probably a boring video. Um, apologize for that, but like I said, I had some people uh, asking me some questions about this flashlight, so I thought I'd owe it to them to do a small review on it so here it is um, if you want the product number for cheaper than dirt the product number is light-149 light-149 l-i-g-h-t-149 that is the item number so if you go to cheaper than dirt and type that item number in the flashlight will pop right up they have since come out with a smaller version of this light but I believe they want ten dollars more for the smaller version and the smaller version of course means less lumens so for my home defense light I wanted the most lumens I could get you know for a decent price and this was it for me so anyways hope this video helps you guys out um, I don't have much else to say about it it's a badass flashlight I'll talk to you bitches later peace out motherfuckers